Hey, Dodgers Nation on a fresh edition of the 3 Up 3 Down podcast. I'm going to be talking about the Dodgers bullpen powering their August success, how Clayton Kershaw impacts the October bullpen, and finally, we'll salivate over some juicy Trey Turner stats from the last week. Welcome back to the 3 Up 3 Down podcast. My name is Eric Ely, your host for this 5-Minute Dodgers Nation production. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram. That is at E-E-U-L-A-U. I'm recording this Sunday afternoon where the Dodgers have unfortunately lost 7-2 to the New York Metropolitans to snap the Dodgers' 9-game winning streak. The Dodgers are still 15-3 for the month of August. Not facing the stiffest of competition lately with the Mets and the Pirates, but you got to just play who's on your schedule. And right now, the Dodgers are dominating who's on their schedule. And a big reason why is the bullpen. Yes, they're young. They're unproven for the most part. But a lot of guys who stepped up in a big way during this winning streak. You look at the stats. This team pitched 44 innings of relief during that nine-game winning streak. That is second in the league. And they had the best bullpen ERA during that span at 2.04. Five. A big reason why not allowing home runs. You see the home runs per nine there, 0. 0.20, not allowing the long ball during that win streak. I know today Bigford let one get out of the yard. It is what it is. Shane Green was horrible, but I'm not going to count him because he didn't pitch during the winning streak. It was just the wheels just kind of came off today. But we're not talking about the present. We're talking about the past. The whip, third, 0.95. But something that does give me a little bit of pause is that BAB of 219. League average is 300, and the Dodgers' opponents hit 219, meaning the Dodgers were getting very lucky when guys were putting the ball in play against the relievers. I don't expect the Dodgers to do this every month, every week, but you got to tip your cap to what these guys did. Mitchell White, huge performance, seven and a third against the Pirates, really helped out, helped shoulder the load during a span where the Dodgers had three bullpen games. You had Alex Vesia with a huge strikeout on Friday night, and the starters were great as well. 1.95 ERA during this winning streak. You expect that from Scherzer, you expect that from Walker Buehler, and even a little bit from David Price, but you didn't expect the bullpen to be this good during this winning streak, and uh, the stats speak for themselves. Even Andre Jackson pitched in. He probably wasn't even ready, but got called up from AAA. He gave up zero earned. Vesia, four games, zero earned. I mean, just can't say enough about how impressive it was during this winning streak. And you got to just give credit where credit's due. The young guys in the bullpen pulled their weight during this winning streak. Last podcast, I talked about how the Clayton Kershaw injury situation was a topic for a different episode. Well, that's this episode. Kershaw is now thrown from 120 feet with high velocity according to Dodgers.com, which you'd love to hear. And Clayton Kershaw's injury and its impact on the rotation is pretty obvious. They're down a starter, hence the bullpen games, which the young guys, as we talked about, have handled really well. But what's not being discussed enough is if Kershaw is not able to be a starter come playoff time and handle that workload from an arm health perspective, it takes away the Dodgers' biggest weapon in the playoffs out of the bullpen. And in my opinion, that is Julio Urias because it makes Urias a starter, which he can still be a good starter in October. I'm not saying he can't, but we saw what we did in Game 7 of the NLCS, closing out Game 6, the clinching game of the World Series. Urias is such a huge factor, and the Dodgers will not be able to use him like that if he has to be a starter because Kershaw can't handle the workload. And right now, he's only Kershaw is slated to come back early September. I don't, I don't want to doubt a great... Hall of Fame player like that, but we just don't know what workload he's going to be able to handle. I love the young guys. I love the arms, but we all know that relief pitching in October versus August are two very different things. That's why I think it's really important for the Dodgers to have at least the flexibility to put Urias in the bullpen if they choose to do so, but Clayton Kershaw could put all of that in jeopardy. Before snapping his six-game hitting streak on Sunday, the Dodgers' Trey Turner was absolutely on fire last week, leading the league in batting average at a 542 clip, a beastly weighted runs created plus of 280, good for fourth in the league. And it seemed like every game he was either on base, going first to third on a single or a double, going first to home, stealing second, just constantly putting pressure on the other team. He's one of the most underrated superstars, and Dodger fans are starting to see why. And I know he had Juan Soto, he had Bryce Harper, they had some big names in Washington, but Trey Turner is an absolutely special player, and the stats back up what you're seeing with your eyes. Can't say enough about what Trey Turner has done during this winning streak for the Dodgers and during this month of August. Dodgers off on Monday, heading to the Padres for a three-game set. Julio Urias will be back. That's all I got. That's all I got time for today, but thank you so much for watching, and make sure to check out the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel, the Dodgers Nation IG, that's short for Instagram, and also download the Dodgers Nation app on Google Play or the App Store. Thank you, and we'll see you on the other side.